All right, so it's time to get some wings going for this plow. It's a good plow, but it's just a basic straight blade and it's just not, it works great for driveways, but for parking lots, it's a eight foot or seven, I don't know, I'd have to measure it. It's seven and a half or eight feet, but it just takes too long to do driveways. And I'm gonna, I think I found a really simple way to build wings for this. They're not gonna be anything crazy. They'll only add like, I think eight inches of width. But, so what I'm gonna do is, you see right here, how that's at a 45 degree angle already. I don't know if it's 45, it looks close. What I'm gonna do is weld steel to that, right? And so it'll come out like that at an angle. So it'll be more of a scoop plow. And that should help a lot. That'll add quite a bit of width to the plow and it'll help contain the snow. So I'll just have probably three of these going down. And then I've got these sheets of rubber that are a quarter inch thick. Those will be my mold board. So like this is quarter inch poly. I'm just gonna use rubber, easier to put on and it's I can't get poly anywhere nearby quickly. So rubber sheets and then the cutting edge. Um, I think I'm gonna get some stable mat, which is, you can get at the local farm store. It's like a half inch rubber mat and that'll be my cutting edge. Um, that's what I'm thinking so far. I'm not sure, but something like that for the cutting edge. But right now, the main thing that needs to happen is I need to get the wings uh, somewhat welded on so that I can figure out how I'm going to put on um, a cutting edge for that. So stay tuned. I'm going to uh, get started on welding up these pieces of angle iron. I need to cut some more on my nice uh, work bench slash step stool right there. And I'm doing this in the garage instead of the shed like you guys are used to because... I don't want to work on this thing in the little shed. So let's get to work. So you can see there, there's a weld. I had put this on the first time and went to do the old tug test and it just ripped right off. So I wasn't burning long enough um, on this stuff because this is a lot thicker metal than this stuff. Um, so I redid this um, up here and burnt a lot longer. It's, just, it's an ugly, uh, ugh, sorry, I can't talk. It's an ugly weld, but um, it's strong and if it breaks off, well, I guess I get to try again or else I'll take it somewhere and have it done professionally or have somebody that I know do it. But, um, I have to put another one down here and then figure out how I'm going to do a cutting edge, but we're getting somewhere. So you kind of see the angle here of what it's going to be like. It's going to be a, more of a scoop and it won't be a sharp angle like this once the rubber's on it'll kind of make it curve but yeah that's where i'm at so far i have to put the other one on and then we'll go from there all right so i've got the two on uh my welds aren't pretty but they're pretty strong so the next thing is to cap off basically that end so i have this piece over here already marked out uh, that is going to go flat against these two ends and get welded on. And then I will do a piece here that goes across as well. And then if I have enough extra steel, I'll go across the middle again with like some rebar or something. Just kind of tie everything together into one sturdy piece. But yeah, so far that's what I've got. And I think it's going to be a nice improvement. The hardest part is gonna be figuring out how I'm gonna set up my cutting edge, but I don't think it'll be too hard, so stay tuned. All right, big mess, stuff everywhere. I had to put the camera down to get stuff done because 
it was taking too long. I, there was a lot of just sitting and thinking. So I put the camera down for a while and uh, got this thing almost completed on this side. So uh, got the metal frame there, which is basically just what holds the um, rubber in the right shape and in place. And then the rubber is bolted up here. This bolt was already here. I broke it off. So I put a new one in, bolted there, bolted there, trying to get this thing to focus and then bolted there and there. And then these ends are just zip tied. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but it's just because otherwise they're kind of floppy, but it doesn't really matter because snow will be pushing this way unless I'm back dragging. But anyhow, if that doesn't work, I'll just put a bolt there. But the other big deal I haven't quite decided, I guess, is my cutting edge because this thin rubber is not really going to do anything, I don't think. So I need to figure out if I can get thicker rubber or some sort of poly. Um, I had thought I was going to use rubber from a like stall mats, but they're like 80 bucks a piece and it's a big, huge sheet of it. And I don't want uh, to buy that for just two little like two foot chunks of rubber. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out something else or see if somebody I know maybe has something laying around. But if all else fails, I could, I'll have, I guess I won't really have much rubber left. That's what's left um, off of this piece. I could triple up this stuff and make it three quarter inches and then just bolt it together and then bolt it on there. I don't know if that would work or not. I mean, I know it would work. I just don't know if that would be a very good way to do it or not, but we'll see. Um, and then, so a cutting edge, I will take that bolt out and then there's one behind here that I'll take out and bolt it onto and then it'll wrap around to here. And then on this flat piece, I'm gonna weld a piece of angle iron so that there's a flat edge here, put a hole in it so that the cutting edge will be bolted there, there, and there, and that'll complete the curve. And yeah, so that's where I'm at for now. Uh, this adds 10 inches to each end. Um, but the thing too is it's not just the width of the plow that matters. Um, it helps with containing the snow so you can push it farther without getting a big trail coming off of this side or that side. So this side I haven't touched yet. I'm just about to start on it. I kind of grinded down some of the metal, but that's all I've done so far. Thought I'd give you an update. That's what it looks like. So this is gonna be almost a nine foot plow after this. So that's gonna be awesome. But now we need snow, which doesn't look like we're gonna be getting any for quite a while. So hopefully we get some snow sometime so I can try this thing out. Cause this has been about six hours of thinking and running to the store and thinking and running to the store and thinking. <laughs> so hopefully these work good. All right, so get the plow done. It's been I don't know how long, a really long time. Um, I started around 11, no, noon, and it is 6.20. So about six and a half hours, and I have wings on my plow. So without further ado, take a look. All right, the plow is done. Got it all looking good. Got that wing on, got that wing on. So now it is more of a kind of a push, like you can hold more. It won't just be falling off the sides all the time, so you'll be able to push more. Uh, the other thing, I still have to figure out what I'm gonna do about cutting edges. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a good cut. That's what the main blade will still be for. This is just to contain it and to be able to push more. So if I'm in like a big parking lot, I can do a lot more and get stuff quick, done quicker. Um, but, so before I just measured it, it was nine and a half, or not nine and a half, seven and a half feet the plow was. Now, end to end, just under nine feet. We'll say nine feet. So now I went from a seven and a half foot plow to a nine foot plow. So big upgrade and I'll be able to contain it more. So this is gonna be a really nice upgrade. It's gonna be really nice uh, and helpful for efficiency. Thanks for watching.